So we need the area of this window, and we know the window is made up of a rectangle and a semicircle. So let's attack those sections one at a time. Let's start by just considering the semicircle. Let's find the area of that. So what is the area of a semicircle? Well, the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area of half a circle is going to be, which is what a semicircle is, is going to be a half of pi r squared. So as soon as we find r, we can just plug into our formula to get the area of the top. So what is r? Well, we're told that the window is 4 feet all the way across. So we know the diameter of this circle is 4. So what about the radius? Well, the radius will be half of that. The distance from the middle to the edge is 2 feet. So there's our radius. We can now find the area of the top of this window. The area of the top of the window is a half pi 2 squared, which is the same as a half pi 2 squared is 4, and a half times 4 is 2, so my area is 2 pi. The area of the top is 2 pi. What about the area of the bottom? What about our rectangle? Well, let's see. The area of a rectangle is length times width. And we've already got the width. We already know that this thing is, is four feet across. So what we need, what we need is the length or, or the height or however you want to think about it. We need the other dimension. How are we going to get this? Well, we know that the window all the way to the top is 10 feet. So if we could just figure out how much is taken up by that semicircle, if we could just figure out this distance, the distance of that semicircle part, uh, well, we can just subtract that from 10 to get our, our missing piece. Let's see. What is this distance? Well, well, we know the radius is 2. And right now on the picture, we, we drew it sort of lying flat. But that's not the only radius, right? There's, there, there are infinite radii in here, and we can, we can pick and choose. And the key thing to remember about the radii is that they're all the same. Uh, uh, this radius across like that, that's got to have a length of 2. This radius, also a length of 2. The most useful radius for us right now is this radius, straight up. And we know that since that's a radius, it has a length of 2. So we know the circle part is too high. That means this distance, which we wanted, is 2. And the one that we really wanted is this distance, which we now know is the whole height, or 10, minus the semicircle section of 2. So this, the height of the rectangle, or the length of the rectangle, is 8. So now we can get the area of the rectangle. Area of the rectangle is length times, area of the rectangle is length times width. And we now know that that is 8 times 4, which is 32. So the area of our entire window, well, that's the rectangle section, which is 32. And it's the semicircular section, which is 2 pi. So the whole window is just 32 plus 2 pi, which shows up in answer choice E.